Chapter 18, The Cat in the Many Worlds Hats. Once upon a time, some Greek men were trying to understand space and time, so they invented atomism, which says when atoms smash into each other, a new universe is created. Centuries later, a Roman Stoic named Chrysippus took that idiotic idea to the next level, claiming that the universe is in a perpetual stage of expiration or regeneration, which obviously proves that infinite multiple universes exist across time. Duh. Luckily, no one took these crackpot ideas very seriously, since there isn't any evidence for them in our daily lives or even in lab experiments. However, all that changed in 1952 when a lunatic, I mean mathematician, named Erwin Schrodinger claimed that until an event is observed, all possible outcomes of the event are occurring simultaneously in superposition, which led to the many worlds theory, also known as the lame, boring backbone for a lot of stupid superhero movies you see these days. So now you understand both quantum physics and multiverse theory. What? What's that? You want a better explanation? Okay. But don't say we didn't warn you, because that's going to require exposing you to some animal torture, something Pablo and I are entirely against. I am referring to the legendary tale of Schrodinger's cat, the so-called proof of superposition and the many worlds theory. In order to prove the existence of infinite possibility, Schrodinger used the example of a cat trapped in a box with radioactive contaminants and a vial of poison to prove how a cat can be considered both alive and dead at the same time until the moment someone bothers to look in the box. Personally, I'm an animal lover, so even if Schrodinger has a bunch of fellow nerds who agree with him, I'm going to take a hard pass on any philosophy that hinges on animal abuse. Furthermore, this idea is stupid. There's only one reality. We all know that. Only an idiot would buy into such an obviously impossible concept. 